Hello and welcome to the world of Mojato. Now we love to get out to the by lanes of cities and see what so many creative people are up to and we urge you to do the same. However, we also have it all together for you on a lovely online platform called mojato.com. Now out of the range of artwork and collectibles we have, we love to tell you the story behind some of these because these stories are truly fascinating. This week is a story of Arts on the Earth who put together a wonderful collection of folk and tribal art on Mojato. When I started off uh, with the thought of opening this gallery for devoted totally to folk and tribal art, my whole idea was to raise up the level of this whole art form, which uh, a lot of Indians themselves are not very familiar with, and uh, giving it its due place in a gallery space. This show also is again a collection of works from different states. I've tried to represent as many styles as possible. From uh, So again, here I have pichwais, I have fards, I have varli paintings, I have kalamkari from uh, Andhra Pradesh, then I have uh, Varli from Maharashtra, there are Santal paintings, Bengal scrolls. There are, there are at least about 10 to 12 different styles of paintings here. I don't tell them what to do, they don't come here and create. Uh, initially, I used to travel to their villages, uh, go and visit them, you know, see their artworks, select what I want. And now they are also very computer savvy, so they send me images or they WhatsApp all the images to me, they send it to me by computer. I check out the images, I select the works and I tell them to send it to me now. But basically all folk and uh, tribal art forms, they first of all, uh, you know, these artists have been practicing their, for generations, their fathers, their forefathers uh, or their grandmothers, they've all been, uh, it's all been, you know, handed down from generation to generation. So it's an age old practice and they always, almost always stem from either their folklores or from mythology, or their own own stories, you know, or from nature. So uh, there will always be a story behind the different art forms, or the different paintings. <laughs> 